trigonometry. Let us take some examples from our surroundings where right triangles can be imagined to be formed. For instance, suppose students of a school are visiting Kutub Minar. Can the student find out the height of the minar without actually measuring it? A right triangle is imagined to be made in this situation as shown in the figure. If you know the height at which the person is standing, can you find the width of the road? Suppose a hot air balloon is flying in the air. A girl happens to spot the balloon in the sky and runs to her mother to tell her about it. Her mother rushes out of the house to look at the balloon. Can you find the altitude of B from the ground? In all the situations given above, the distances or heights can be found by using some mathematical technique with some under a branch of mathematics called trigonometry. So, what is trigonometry? Trigonometry is the study of the properties of triangles. Tri is ancient Greek word for three. Gon means side. Metri means measurement. Together they make measuring three sides. If you know some facts about a triangle, such as the length of the side, then using trigonometry, you can find out the other facts about it. If you know the length of sides, then you can find what the angles are. If you know the length of one side and two of the angles, then you can work out what the remaining angle is and also what the lengths of the other two sides are. As a consequence, the ancient Greeks were able to use trigonometry to calculate the distance from the earth to the moon. Even today, most of the technologically advanced methods used in engineering and physical sciences are based on trigonometrical concepts.